slide and delta run right by my door Lord, I'm leaving here, baby, honey, don't you want to go? Leaving here, sweet baby, honey, don't you want to go? I'm going up the country, ain't coming back no more I'm going up the country, ain't coming back no more. Yes, I'm going up the country, baby, don't you want to go? Yeah, baby, honey, don't you want to go? I'm going up the country, ain't coming back no more. My suitcase is packed, my trunk's already gone. Oh, tell me, baby, what in the world are you waiting on? Tell me, sweet baby, honey, what you waiting on? This slide in Delta, run right by my door. I'm leaving here, baby, honey, don't you want to go? The big Kate Allen got ways just like a man. Lord, it's steal your baby every time she land. She steal your baby every time she land. Sometimes, sometimes, yes, baby, sometimes. Don't go, baby. baby, don't you wanna go? I'm leaving here, baby, ain't coming back no more. Leaving here, sweet baby, ain't coming back no more. I 
I said, little fish, big fish, run in the water. Come back, man, jump my water. Hey, 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 the old salty dog.
how can it be you've dressed everybody with cruel staggerly that bad man oh cruel staggerly Stagger Lee, please don't take my life. Says I got to invade, darling, loving wife. He's a bad man, oh, cruel Stagger Lee. What I care about you to invade, darling, loving wife. Said you done stole all my stuff and hat. I'm bound to take your life. He's a bad man. Oh, cruel Staggerly. Boom, 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 boom. What a 44. What a spy. Pope is lying. He's lying down on the floor. That bad man, oh cruel Staggerly. Some of us, he's a bad man. Oh, cruel Staggerly. Gentlemen of the jury, what you think of that? Says Staggerly, kill a bit of line by the five dollars doesn't hat. He's a bad man. Oh, cruel. Killed him, he's all glad to see him die. He's a bad man, oh cruel Staggerly. Oh, this is awesome. How can it be? You can rest everybody, but cruel Staggerly, that bad man. Oh, cruel Staggerly. up this morning with the Monday morning blue. I couldn't hardly find, I couldn't hardly find, I couldn't hardly find my Monday morning.
I couldn't hardly find my Monday morning I woke up this morning Well, I woke up this morning Woke up this morning with the Monday morning Well, help me, baby, to mourn these blues away. That will feel tomorrow. That will feel tomorrow. That will feel tomorrow like I feel today. Gonna pack my suitcase. Gonna pack my suitcase Gonna pack my suitcase I'm sure gonna walk away I've been laying in jail. I've been laying in jail six long weeks today. And then tomorrow morning. And then tomorrow morning. Or tomorrow morning gonna be my trial day. Lord, I ask the judge. Lord, I ask the judge. Ask the judge what might be my fine. Get a pick and shovel. Get a pick and shovel. Get a pick and shovel. Let's go down in. Mr. Change a dollar Won't you change a dollar Won't you change a dollar Give me a lucky dime Woke up this morning Woke up this morning Woke up this morning with the Monday morning. No more good wrong. 
I'm coming home. Coming home. No more to roam. Oh, baby. I'm coming home. Yes, I'm coming home.
times in old town tonight. <laughs> I've forgotten all the voices my in, but it's a hot time in old town tonight. something like this. Shout out to that, I heard his drive wheel, he's gone, jumping, railroad joint. By the time he got straight to running, run up on some sheep, he blow it from him, get off the track, but they wouldn't get off. I heard him blowing something like this. I 
hood and we need to turn down to run them all. Made him sort of mad cause he had to stop running sheep on the track and come as cussing. Here's what he said. Pay good attention to him. Hope you know what he's saying. Shout out to that. Lose a little time, I could hear them drive wheel look like trying to catch up with them little truck wheels. He's running so fast. People all got scared, thought he was gonna make a rake, which he did. When they just come and sing it, Lord, how much it saved me, Lord. Lord, have mercy, oh Lord, Lord, have mercy, say, oh say me, Jesus, oh say. And save me, Jesus, save. This might be apparent to uh, some of the old Ontario hands. The presence of all these mics means we're taping this evening. And uh, I just about lost my mind just listening to the, the earphones. It's just fantastic, including the audience, I might add. Uh, next week, as I said, Skip James is going to be playing here. Uh, a fantastic Delta Blues, hard blues man. <laughs> Make me down, pallet on your floor. Make me down. Make me a pallet down, soft and low. Make me a pallet on your floor. Country, why the cold sleet and snow? Going up the country, why the cold sleet and snow? I'm going up the country, why the cold sleet and snow? No telling how much further I may go. Oh, make me down. Make me down. Make me a pallet down soft and low make me a pallet on your floor Well, I'm sleeping, my back and shoulders tired. Well, I'm sleeping, my back and shoulders tired. The way I'm sleeping, 
my back and shoulders tied. Gonna turn on and try it on the side. Oh, make me down. Make me down. Make me a pallet down soft and low. Make me a pallet on your floor. Don't you let my. Please don't let my. Well, she might shoot you live because you start to do. No telling what she might do. Oh, make me down. Make me down. Make me a pallet down soft and low. Make me a pallet on your floor. Said the way I'm sleeping, my back and shoulders tired. Way I'm sleeping, my back and shoulders tired. The way I'm sleeping, my back and shoulders tired. Gonna turn over and try it on the side. Oh, make me down. Make me down. Make me a pallet. Down soft and low, make me a pallet on your floor. Satisfied. Oh, time I'll be satisfied. I told you, man, that you can't come in. Told you, man, that you can't come in. No bell ringing and you can't come in. No bell ringing and you can't come in. Ain't your business and you can't come in. Oh Lord, man, you can't come in. You just keep on knocking and you can't come in. Keep on knocking and you can't come in. Oh man, you can't come in. No, you can't come in.
They tell me Joe Turner's in this town They tell me Joe Turner's in this town He's the man I hate, I don't want him hanging around Joe Turner, man, I do the spy. Well, he's going around. I drove Joe Turner, drove him from my door. I drove the tunnel, drove him from my door. Hope to God that he won't come back no more. Policeman, please don't let him round. Policeman, please don't let him round. He's here to steal. From my door, I drove the turn up, drove it from my door. Hope to God that it won't come back no more. Spanish flag name.
have won I should not be moved like a tree Standing by the water I shall not be moved Oh, I shall not I, I shall not be moved like a tree Standing by the water I shall not be moved I'm sanctified and holy, I shall not be moved. Sanctified and holy, I shall not be moved like a tree standing by the water. I shall not be moved. Oh, I shall not, I shall not be moved. I shall not, I shall not be moved. Like a tree standing by the water, I shall not be moved. Oh, deacon, I shall not be moved. Oh, deacon, I shall not be moved like a tree standing by the water. I shall not be moved. I shall not be moved, I shall not, I shall not be moved like a tree standing by the water, I shall not be moved. Thank you. Second mind, Lord, I wouldn't be sitting here wringing my hand crying. I wouldn't have been sitting here wringing my hand crying. I wouldn't have been sitting here wringing my hands and crying. You see, you see, right, oh, you see what you have done, you made me love you. You made me love you, now you made me come. It ain't no more potatoes, frost have killed the vine, the blues ain't nothing, 
but a good woman on your mind. You ain't nothing but a good woman on your mind. The blue ain't nothing but a good woman on your mind.
Went away last night, stayed out all night long Well, talk about trouble, I've had all my days
mama will be gone Hey, shake a bob haircut and a shot of the 
everybody knows. She paid with a hundred dollars for Albert to see the clothes. He's a man, and he did it wrong.
Frank A. He's gonna be justified in killing a man. And indeed, you're wrong. Just one voice of a little number. Just uh, I like chicken so. And my wife, <laughs> <laughs> she's got me some chicken. When I get back home, I'm gonna eat that chicken. You know what I mean? <laughs> Just one voice and going to school a little bit on the chicken. magazine to, to get to know you and too often I think uh, we have people writing about musicians and, and I, I know that musicians can often speak for themselves better than anybody else can speak for them for example this uh, man Doc Boggs 
wrote the story of his life, and it, and everybody said it was one of the best things that Sing Out ever printed. Just telling how when he was a young man he was working in the mines, and he also liked to make music, and how he made his first record, and then he decided to give it up, and he told in his own words the story of his life. And I know that uh, within the last year that there's just uh, thousands of people that have heard your music. If you could simply tell them your own story. They, when the article is printed, it would be your story. It wouldn't be, wouldn't be somebody else uh, trying to tell it. I think maybe just I might start off with just getting, uh, as they say, the vital statistics. That is, you were born how long ago? 1892. This was in Avalon, were you born? Five miles from Avalon, a little place to call Teoc, Mississippi. And I, they brought me up to Avalon when I was just a baby. Was your and I grew up in Avalon. Did your uh, father and mother live in Avalon? They did. Oh. they did. My father, he homesteaded some land. And he had a little place there in Avalon. What do you mean, homesteaded land? I don't guess up north, I don't know that. Some way he, you know, bought this land from the government. Uh, well, really, it means what I understand. Just go and uh, clean up some land that belonged to the government. Yes. You know, make a... Grow cotton or something? Grow cotton, corn, peas, potatoes. And uh, so they'll just give you that land you... You know, get the timber off of it, you know, and in other words, make farmland out of it, see, cleans it all. When did you first make music? What you might call kind of stole my way of making music in a way. There was a gentleman that uh, would come to see a school teacher, the school that I went to, I was eight years old, and he would come up every weekend to see this teacher. He could play guitar. I don't know how many numbers he could play, but I never heard him play but one. And he'd bring his guitar along and make a little music with his teacher. And I was a very small boy, eight years old. And he, he lived a good piece from the school. And he knew my mother well. I said, like Friday evening, he would spend the night, you know, at my mother's house and play that number for her. When he'd play that number, I would to learn it awful bad. I wanted to learn to play guitar anyway. I always liked music. And he would sit his guitar down, you know, like this. And I'd keep my ancient around. And I'd get over there and pick it up. And he said, uh-uh, son, put that down. And my mother would speak up and say, yes, put that man's guitar down. I'd say, yes, mother, I'd put it down. And I studied me a sharp plan to, you know, that guitar and try to learn. And my mother said, oh, it's about time you go in the room and go to bed anyway. Yes, mother, I'd get up and go in the room and go to bed, but I wouldn't go to sleep. And when they quit talking and go in their rooms, different rooms, you know, and go to bed, well, I'd lie down, you know, listen, 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 I'm way in the night. You know, sleep, you know. I'd get up, I'd tip to my mother's room doing I'd listen. I could kind of hear her say, say, now she's asleep. I'd go to this gentleman's room, do I could hear him good saying, <laughs> I say, oh, yeah. <laughs> and then I would tip around, you know, and get his guitar. And I'd just, about like that, you know. And I kept doing that until I liked that number. And when I learned to play that number, good. Why? I didn't care if you did <laughs> hear me then. I wake my mother one night about one o'clock, playing that number. <laughs> and she opened the room door and peeped in there. She says, Huh? Oh, this is my Lord. I thought that was William Henry. That is a gentleman's <laughs> name. I said, No, mother, this means. She stood there for a good little bit. Just a little. I looked around. She gets standing there. I said, and mother, I want you to buy me a guitar. She says, I hadn't got anything to buy you no guitar. <laughs> and uh, so the white well, gentleman you know, that she watched for, why he would, she was telling him about it. <laughs> the next day was watch day, you know, after. And she was telling him about it. 
He says, well, Mary Jane, that's my mother's name, says, why don't you get him a good dog? She said, uh, Mr. Kent, I'm not uh, able to buy him a guitar. He said, how do you know? She said, well, I know I ain't got nothing to buy him a guitar. I ain't got anything. You can get a good guitar then for $10. That's right. And he said, Mary Jane says, our guitar is practically new. That my boy married off and left at home. And he told me that I could have it. Said he didn't want it. Sell it or anything. Say, I'll let you have that guitar for him for one dollar and a half. And she bought it. <laughs> so I just kept going. <laughs> well, did you ever play play for money for for people or uh, before they recorded you? This is way well, back when he's talking about. Yeah, when when you were. How how is it that you come to make that you came to make those records in nineteen twenty twenty six was it when twenty eight and twenty nine twenty eight and twenty nine that's right well it was a white gentleman that lived near me and he was a fiddler he was a fiddler fiddler <laughs> uh, that was uh, Mr Willie Normal that was his name and he went to a fiddling contest. At Winona, Mississippi. Town named Winona, Mississippi. Okay. That was about 90 or 95 miles from where me and him lived. And Mr. T.J. Rockwell and Mr. Stevenson were there at this fiddling contest going through, you know, searching for music. And uh, so after he won the contest, why, they gets after him to come to New York, make some records for him. And he agreed that he would. And then they asked him, says, uh, well, is uh, anyone else in your area that uh, play fiddle? Told him, said, no, not that I know. He says, well, music of any kind. He said, well, there's a colored fellow in my area. I think he plays music, plays the guitar mighty well. He says, which way are y'all going back to New York? He said, oh, I guess uh, back 51, the way we came down here. And they said, well, he says, why don't you come go back to Greenwood, Mississippi yes, says. Uh, Mississippi 51. <laughs> <laughs> says, just as near, and just about straight away. And says, I'll take you by this fellow's house. They agreed, said, well, all right. So they awake me one night about one o'clock. Hmm. And I thought, I know when uh, Mr. Norman was so well, and he knew me so well. Sometime, you know, he would uh, come around and bring his friends, you know, and uh, he'd kind of have a little party, like just a little home party. And he called me that night about one o'clock and knocked on the door. I said, who is it? And he says, uh, it's me, John Willie. says, uh, get up, says, here's some fellas from New York. Want to hear you play, son? I said, yeah, 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 I know, I know. I thought, Mr. Lynn, you know, you. Uh, you put me on, you know. I said, yes, yeah, all right, Mr. Willie, all right. Got up and opened the door, and they walked in, and and as soon as he walked in, I looked at him, I knew it. They didn't live around there because I knew everybody in a hundred miles of Florida that lived around there, both white and black. So they told me to get my guitar, play on my number. And I did. And I started on another number. And they stopped me and says, uh, what about uh, getting you to come to Memphis? And... Uh, Make it right. I said, I had never did anything like that. He says, Ask not the question. I know, I know. He says, But I said, uh, What about getting you to do that? Uh, I said, Well, I guess I will. He said, Have you ever been to Memphis? Once or twice? Yeah. He says, uh, Well, yeah. He says, 
I'll give you one of my cards. To the OK building. And so he did. He says, now I'm going to leave your train fat with Normo. At that time, Normo was driving school bus. And he says, uh, Willie, will you promise me that you get into the trains and I want you there the 13th of February? He says, I will. I'll get into the train. And so he did. Now he goes to Memphis and uh, made uh, two records for him. Got back home. Was at home one week. And he sent me a letter and my train fare in there to come to New York for further recording. So I went there and I was there. Took a train up to New York. Say you did. So I recorded from New York. And I got back home. I went back home. You know, I went to working on the farm, railroad, and the river. All right, so. In a short period of time, I don't know, they sold out without a business, uh, some kind of way, I don't know, but uh, never did hear no more from them. I, I know pretty good why, when I did hear why, they sold out of business. So there I wait for 35 years, and these people <laughs> came along. <laughs> you mean absolutely, you know, nothing, I mean, playing, of course, but no records, no recording? Right. Between all. No recording in between. Like I, I heard a couple of your records in Chicago in 1940, 42, something like that, 45. And uh, I remember asking there, I said, where is Mississippi John Hurt? And, no, nobody knows. <laughs> nobody knows. I said, but uh, they treasured those records just like they were gold. <laughs> they, they really did. When you say you worked on the railroad, what kind of work? Was it uh, straightening tracks or something? That's right, what they call line tracks. Um, takes about ten people at once, doesn't it? Something like that. How many? How many all work together to to straighten the line and track? Oh, about uh, ten, fifteen. From that to twenty. Yeah, you know. Uh, they all get the bars underneath and they kind of right, push in uh, time. That's right. That's right. Long bars, you know, not that long, I say. Well, and they won in the crowd around the railroad jack. I guess you've seen the railroad jack. Then. Actually, no, I've never seen it. You had Well, in a way, why? Well, it's got a, what I call a foot on it, you know. Put it on the rail. Like, yes, cross ties. You put this foot right between those two cross mm -hmm. ties, you know. Mm -hmm. Then you begin to jack up the track. So we can move it, see it, fix up ties and all. The section form. He's down on his knees, keeping down the track, you know, down the rail like that. And you're running this jack <laughs> sometime, uh, and you run it so fast, <laughs> why, you're liable to go over before he can harm. And uh, you be rip, 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 and if you go, you holler, oh! Cut down one. That's one notch, you know. Let it back down. Right there, he said. All right. Then we all line up, get our line and bar. Get on the rail. Here's a curve in there, you know, track crooked like that. Well, straighten it out. I said, it's straight here. Yeah. Kind of curve in that way where you push it all straight in line, you know, that. And when we go to, it's one in there. A thing, see, that's so we can keep the time and oh. put shell this track over. We be getting our ball and they says, All right, boys, all right, boys, all right, boys, get our ball in there. Then when we get our ball and they turn our backs to the radio like this and stand straddle your bar. He said, All right, boys, let's go. Hey, you know, when you marry, won't you marry me? Bottom of your flower bell, girl, you never see. And that track just moved. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you remember any more of those verses? I, I, I heard one. I, I never saw it done, but I, the reason I even knew the word lining track was that 
uh, this lead belly you heard some people tell about. He, he used to sing a song. Oh, boys, is you right? Done got right. All I hate about line and track. These old bars are gonna break my back. Well, yeah. Oh boy, can't you line up? Chuckalaka. Oh boy, can't you line up? Chuckalaka. Oh boy, can't you line up? Chuckalaka. See, Eloise, go line and try. I think that's. I think because you've done so much outdoor work in your life, that's why you lived such a ripe old age. <laughs> and you get some person been sitting at a desk all his life. They get all hunched over and they don't have enough energy. But <laughs> doing lots of outdoor work, why? And I have did lots of it. You know, I don't wait. What do the people in Avalon think about you coming up north and, and singing around? <laughs> well, they... They're proud of it. <laughs> did, they, did, did the local newspaper write it up at all? Uh, in Avalon? Yeah. Is there a newspaper in Avalon? Sure, they... I don't know. There was one paper... Man, uh, he wanted to, the first time I came up there and went back home. He wanted to put a like a linen paper about me. I don't know whether he did or not. Came to my house when I first got back. Said he was. Oh, I know another thing. I think that many people would like to know how how did you come to make up some of your songs? Because I know that some of these songs are one that you wrote yourself. Isn't that right? Right. I mean, some people know how to sing, but not everybody knows how to make up a song. <laughs> well, uh, as I would think of a uh, bass, you know, I, I would write it down so I wouldn't forget it. And I would keep, that, keep on doing that till I thought I had enough bases to make a record in. Is that, this is recently then, because you didn't make records in between the last 25 years. This was like... Are you talking about back in 1928, or or uh, just or just now? Recently? Sure, I'm talking about back in 28. Oh. That's right. Well, did you sometimes play with fiddlers or something uh, like that back in Avalon? In 27, it was a fiddler came from Louisiana, Louisiana, uh, moved in there, my home, and he was a fiddler. Played with him. Uh, he would uh, help me play, you know, fiddle, you know, for uh, those country dances where I played for. We got together and practiced a little bit. Did you ever go to New Orleans? Never have. Never have. Ever over to Birmingham or Natchez? The first time I ever been to Birmingham was when uh, these music research came down to Mississippi and yeah. he got me and I. That's the way we traveled. Went through Birmingham, going, coming up. Yeah. I made about three trips up here before I moved up here. I moved up here and uh, they take me out in Baltimore, making tapes in different places, you know. And uh, so, uh, into the folk festival in Newport, Philadelphia. Did you go back home last month, or are you going to go back? Oh, I guess I I want to go uh, during the Christmas, but uh, last month I had got moved here. I've been living here in Washington now. Well, I moved here this last come September a year ago. I know where uh, about where Avalon is because I was down there last summer. I'd I think I drove right through Winona. I was in Meridian, and I drove up. Uh, I was in Hattiesburg. I drove up to Meridian. Hattiesburg? Yeah. That's my wife home, Hattiesburg. If you met a, a some young fellow, suppose you met a 12-year-old boy who just admired your music, and he wanted to learn how to pick a guitar, what would you tell him? Uh, is there any kind of advice or hints you could suggest to him outside of just keep on trying? <laughs> <laughs> I could uh, probably tell him something, but he wouldn't hardly believe it. But 
He wouldn't hardly believe it, but it's true. <laughs> now, what is it? <laughs> Listen, where you sleep, I said, sit your guitar right behind your head. That's like your pillows over there. But sit your guitar in that corner there. Sleep is right at your head. I said, you start going, you're learning just like that. You might not believe that, but that's right. <laughs> that's right. I know what it does, but. I know it. <laughs> well, maybe it's because if you keep it near, you play it more often. Instead of maybe just once a day or something like that, you'd be playing when you go to bed and when you get up, <laughs> as long as it's right near and handy. Yeah, I, I think, seem I like to take a pick somewhere. John means love that guitar as much as you do your wife, and then you'll learn how to play it. <laughs> <laughs> good, right, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to make sure that the wives are loved as much as the guitar. <laughs> I'm suspicious of these these musicians. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I got uh, Toshi Me have uh, an 18 year old boy who who uh, loves your records so much. He listens to them and he picks a guitar off of them. I shouldn't say this in public because he. Yeah. Well, it doesn't have to go any further than these words. Right. Sing out, just cut that out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I think it, it's it's uh, something that I feel like pointing out to young people who like music is that they don't feel they have to make a lot of money out of it. It's, oh, it's nice to make money. But an awful lot of good musicians have played most of their life just because they liked it, not because right. they were tra making money out of it. I mean, it's with you. I'm, I'm sure that if you'd had to depend on music most of your life, <laughs> you would, would have been starving. That's right. But uh, because you liked music, you just kept on playing it anyway. That's right, and I, I could help him out in saying this. If uh, you want to learn music and go and make music, you got to get it in here. That's right. That's right. you got to get it in here. If you just said, well, I don't care anything about it, and maybe don't, so, but I'm going to play it. Yeah, you, you're you not going to be so successful, I'll tell you that. you got to get it in here. you got to want to make this music and like it. Well, it sure has been wonderful for us up here to get to know you because you you heard it said how so much of the world doesn't know the other half of the world. Right. That's and right. to get to know you has been a great thing for many of us. A lot of Americans don't know but their own little corner of America. Like somebody up in Massachusetts might just know his little corner of a Massachusetts. Somebody out in California just knows his little bit of California. And I think through these songs, maybe a lot of Americans have gotten a little bit of taste of how each other's live. Right. That's right. So the community where you live are Negro and white uh, people sat around and socialized together That's just right. the way we are doing now. That's right. That's right. That's right. Except they... when some nasty minded person came <laughs> in. <huh>? <laughs> right. <laughs> it wasn't say a town. Well, maybe I'd say store here and uh, right in the little uh, town. I'll say town is where, well, maybe down the, the road about half a mile. That was no. Maybe about a mile. That was no. You know, like that. Before the days of automobiles, I guess you had these little separate towns. Well, it was one, it's the same name of the same town. It was just spread out among right. the communities. Oh, the farming communities. In other words, one store would serve That's one right. farming community and a mile away. In That's store. right. That's the right. Same way where we live now, Peter. I've got no education, I say. I read and write and speak a little bit, but I didn't get any further than the fourth grade. You know, that, that wasn't very far, was it? Right. I suppose then, after the fourth grade, why well, you had to help out your family earning money. Is that it? Right. That's right. That's 
Well, this was either. quite common around an awful lot of the country. Farming. You had to have those extra hands and to harvest. You couldn't afford to hire a to harvest. So did you have so brothers and sisters? I did. My brothers, they're all older than I am. Sisters, too. I'm the baby boy. <laughs> <laughs> and so, by the time I grew up, you know, big enough to do anything, why, my older brothers, they didn't marry at all. Why? That left nobody there. My mother was with her. Daddy was dead. He died when, uh, oh, if he'd walk, if he were living right now and walk in that door, I wouldn't know who in the world he was. I'd never seen my daddy. <laughs> and uh, so that left just me and my sister at home, and we had to, you know, help our mother work. Is anybody still around? Your si brother or sister? No, no, the older one was married off, gone. Just me and one sister. You know? I hope sometime in the next year or two that you will be able to go over to England or one of those other countries because they'd love to hear you over there. They think, really would. They you really think so? Would. I know they would. <laughs> uh, it was actually a big disappointment to them when you weren't able to make the trip last year. And now the, they got these jet planes that are so smooth you, you wouldn't even hardly know you're flying. Toshi, you know, never wanted to fly. But when we went overseas, we figured it, we'd have to go because it was so much quicker. And ended up now, now she gets a plane she hardly knows. She, she, might, she might, might as well be getting into a bus. <laughs> oh, well. It's not as, just getting used to something. That's right. Well, it looks like... Uh, it's kind of hard for me to use it. I've had 14 flights since I've been but you know, not not overseas, nothing like that. But I mean. A friend of mine, Lee Hayes, is awful heavy. He says when he went up in the plane, he didn't feel like he should put his full weight down. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you feel the first time you went in the plane? Well, I, I felt, uh, I, you know, just thinking, you know, I think, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I felt, all right. They said, uh, yes, it's uh, about the worst part of it. Uh, when you get up off the ground, well, that didn't bother me. But I, mean, I got to thinking, right, way up there. I look out of the window and... I could see the past old town, you know, and I could see some little toy cars look like running around down there just about that long. That's the way I feel. <laughs> what am I doing up here, you know? Yeah, the second flight, why? Uh, oh, I got to thinking. The man was needing a star. And, uh, Got above that storm. He announced that he needed the storm. He got above that storm. Well, the worst part of it, he, he ran into a little bit of it before he, before he got high enough, you know. He directly announced, he says, Well, we'll make some good speed now. He says, We'll 35,000 feet in the air. I thought to myself, ooh, wee. <laughs> <laughs> and so, I soon got all right, though. The stewardess came around. I said, me and Tom was sitting there with two guitars. And I said, yeah, I says, y'all are musicians. I said, well, uh, would you mind playing a little music? Boss, if we get a place, we get a place. So we told him no. We had a, a regular, what you call it? Hooting at it up in there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot about how I was then. We had lots of fun there. <laughs> well, I 
sure do thank you for taking the time. Uh, what we'll do, we'll, we'll write this out on paper so you can see. Yes, if you want to add anything to it or subtract anything from it, you can do it. There'd be lots of people interested to hear it. It's, it, it's uh, not just what you have done, but what you haven't done. Because some people think that if you, if you are going to play music, you must do this and must do that. And I think that you, myself, I think you, you, uh, you said it when you said if, if you really want music and you have it here. That's right. Then That's right. you're going to find a way to do it. That's right. I can see uh, kids all around the country sleeping with a guitar at their head. Well, <laughs> 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 uh, we, we I think have a concert. I got to give a program tonight, so I better be getting Undertaker's bill. Save all undertakers. And let the mermaid flate with me. Let the, let the mermaid flate with me. Treat you better, nobody's business but mine. 
ain't no boy doing the business how my baby treat me. Nobody's business but my own. Back to Pensacola, buy my baby money mold. Nobody's business but mine. Ain't nobody doing the business how my baby treat me. Nobody's business but my own. Some of these boys might wake up boozy, live and grab my gun. Wanna kill Susie. Nobody's business but mine. It ain't nobody. Dirty business, how my baby treat me. Nobody's business but my own. Sometime my baby get boozy, then again she tries to rule me. Nobody's business but mine. Ain't nobody dirty business how my baby treat me. Nobody's business but my own. <laughs> you know, I... <laughs> we may not be over at the concert. Remember to call them up. We're not going to be home in time for the concert. <laughs> Have too good a time. <laughs> Did you ever play that at a dance show? That? Yeah. Did you ever play for a dance? You know, some one buck dance, you know, that play for us. Hey, John, time to lose that. Let me go. I said, okay. <laughs> Most of the keys you play in G and D and A. Most C. C sound. <laughs> right. The word blues and can't rest easy here. Oh, baby, what's the matter now? No, baby, is you gonna quit your daddy in you know? the house? Oh, baby, all right for you. Oh, baby, you know I love you. That's all right, 
Something going on, girl. Baby. Oh, yes, something going on wrong. Went away last night and stayed out all night long. Went away last night. Well, you know you didn't want me. Why didn't you tell me so? Baby, you know you didn't want me. I can find a good girl most anywhere I go Sometimes, sometimes Sometimes, sometimes <laughs> It's just one I written, listen This is the song with Tom and him found me by one of my old records, you know I read this song about the hometown of Al. Kisses and waving at me. Says, Come back, Dad, and stay right here with me. New York's a good town, but it's not for mine. New York's a good town, but it's not for mine. But your mama and I won't be there all the time. Yes, the woman there all the time. One thing I can't understand. It's one thing I can't understand. So many pretty mama and Avalon, and I'm just one man. 